Hope you guys are doing well. So you see in the title, it says the danger of remaining neutral. The danger of remaining neutral. I am... Um, <clears throat> So first of all, I think that there's a space and time where neutral is good, right? Um, for instance, if you have someone who has an opposing belief or an opposing opinion or an opposing way of doing something and you don't try to control them because you believe differently or you feel differently, I think that's a perfect space to remain neutral. It doesn't mean that you change your belief or that you have to go along with what they have going on, but you give yourself permission to remain neutral. You aren't trying to control that person's situation or make them believe what you believe. I, I believe that remaining neutral in those circumstances is actually a good thing. <clears throat> but then there's a space where remaining neutral can be dangerous. And I want to talk about that on this morning. First, I'm going to do a few announcements. If I have someone to come on who could scribe for me, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, and then I'm going to do a quick introduction. I realize that I've been getting new people on my page and I want to, you know, just kind of let you know a little bit about who I am and what I do, how I can support you and um, and also to welcome you. So first of all, our announcements. So there are a few highlights for the month of February for the Renew brand. And the name of my business is Renew Full Circle Consulting. So if you hear me say the Renew brand, it's everything under that umbrella. And for the month of February, I am highlighting a few live opportunities and a few self-study opportunities that I have that are available. <clears throat> Number one being my Money Mindset Masterclass, which is a masterclass on money. It's about your money story. We all have one. Um, it actually dictates how we live our life and how we earn money, how we spend money, how we invest money. And it's normally attached to a story that most of us aren't aware of. And so I walk you through learning what your money story is. When you step into that space of, of awareness, you can align it with how things are transpiring in your life. And then you can make some decisions about changing it and creating new money mindsets that help you step into new spaces of abundance. So the Money Mindset Masterclass is available immediately. It is a self-study course. Um, that is one of the highlights for the month of February. Also, <clears throat> the Heal Sis Master Life class is happening February the 11th. It's a three-day master class, and that will be taught live. It's um, It will be happening February the 11th, 12th, and 13th, and I thought those days were perfect because it's so close to the pag pagan holiday um, Valentine's Day, and a fine that many women, you know, feel some type of way around that time that everyone is celebrating and things of that nature, especially if you've gone through failed relationships, um, maybe a divorce like myself. I was married for 14 years. I've been divorced now for, I believe, four years. And there were just some things, some inner work um, that I had to do that really helped me to transition differently in my life and you know step into a fresh start gain new levels of peace and growth and understanding and um, it's really the evolution of you know your inner work that's what that particular master life class is and so as opposed to you know maybe looking at someone and thinking why can't that be me I think it will offer a measure of fulfillment for those of you who join us on those days to know that you're working on yourself. You're doing your inner work. You're healing um, some of the thoughts and um, experiences that you have previously had that will help you to push forward. Um, also, the 3D Brand Masterclass is being highlighted for this particular month. That will happen later in the month. Um, it is a three-day three day Master Life class for those of you who are building your brand and you're really looking for a new level of clarity. So if you find yourself saying, 
you know, I need to rebrand quite often, or maybe you've gotten complacent. It walks you through the different stages of building a brand, helps you to become aware of where you are in the process, and then helps you to get in alignment with who you need to be in order to move into that next phase. So it's, it's a powerful, powerful masterclass. I go through um, not only the three stages of growth, but I also go through three archetypes, um, which is ways of being where you're the um, co-creator, the creator, um, things of that nature as it relates to building your brand. And then last but definitely not least is 3D Success Academy, which is available for you to join um, at any time. It is a hybrid of self-study and live coaching. It is a 12, this is my baby too, right? It houses many of the um, courses and strategies and techniques that I built and created over the years. It is a 12 month opportunity for those of you who are really serious about building your brand and actually creating a lifestyle we love. We talk about your destiny, your vision, where it is that you wanna go, the mission for your brand. Um, it, it's so many aspects of you know building your brand and then having mentor coaching and support as you're doing it. We have live coaching at the end of each month inside that course. You can join at any time. For instance, if you join today, you would be able to begin immediately and then you'd be on track for um, our live coaching at the end of the month. So we go over, you know, definitely uh, the money aspect. We have an entire portal called the Prosperity Portal of building your brand, deciding, you know, who you are as a brand, where you want your brand to go. Um, and it's just a way to be supported while you're really building that out and for those of you who like information and details on all of those things you can go to renewfullcircle.com slash this month renewfullcircle.com slash this month and if you're new around here let me know in the comments also if this is your first time on a live video with me put first timer in the comments if you're catching me on the replay put hashtag replay and if you've been around this camp for quite some time, put hashtag renew in the comments. Now that we're done with um, this month's announcements, things that are highlighted, ways that I can support you, there, there are other ways that I can support you, but I decided that each month I would do a highlight of some specific things that are really in alignment with um, what we're doing behind the scenes in the brand and also listening to my clients and customers and many of the things that they may be um, focusing on or dealing with, I've decided to highlight specific uh, opportunities. So I am Tanya Wilson. I am a master life and business coach and I help women to step into their personal power, whether it be the confidence that you need to move forward, the courage that you need, um, up leveling, your leadership and your self-esteem in order to build your brand and really uh, use your own power, right? To build what it is that you're building and actually create a lifestyle that you love. I help women to scale their businesses, right? And so we not only build businesses over here, but many of my clients have 3X their their income in, in working with me. So. Um, many of the mindset tools that I use, the abundant mindset principles, help my clients to quantum leap their success and you know, help women to walk through that process all while creating a lifestyle that they love. And I want to talk about the dangers of neutral today and how that can end up being the exact opposite of you know building your business and creating a lifestyle that you love so i was watching a panel of entrepreneurs speak this morning and they made a decision that they would not talk about business so they you know did an introduction of who they were you know what type of business they owned or how they served in the marketplace and then the rest of their conversation was more about who they are you know if they were married had children in a relationship things of that nature. 
And there was one young lady who said she was um, a two-year fiance. Now, I I couldn't, you know, gather like why she said two years in the beginning, but as time uh, went on, because I just thought maybe she would have said I'm fiance or I'm engaged. Uh, but as time went on, someone on the panel actually asked her the question and she ended up going into this conversation about uh, how not important it was to her whether they married tomorrow, next week, because someone had asked her, did they have a date? She was like, no, we haven't thought about it. We haven't put a date on the table, this or that, which is fine. Um, but basically what she ended up saying was she was indifferent about whether or not they rushed to get married or they took their time. She was indifferent. And it made me think about a situation where I I knew a young lady who really desired to be married. And and I'm going somewhere. Y'all stay with me. Y'all entrepreneurs stay with me here, okay? Um, but she really desired to be married and she would talk about it a lot. I was never the one that like had this dream of being married or, or things of that nature, but I did end up being married. But this particular young lady that I'm talking about, um, it reminded me of the friend that I had who really wanted to be married, but it would always seem to change every time she got in a relationship. She would always start having this um, nonchalant or indifference towards whether she married or not. Now, that was so odd to me because this is someone who I had heard talk about being married for as long as I had known them. And I thought about how often we become neutral to many of the things that we desire in our life and in our business. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. And dreams, goals, and plans get lost in neutral. Dreams, goals, and plans get lost in neutral. There was this phase I would hear uh, someone say all the time that I just didn't agree with. It is what it is. And what I realized was what they really meant by it is what it is, is I've tried a couple times and this just isn't working, so I've just settled with whatever life brings my way. And oftentimes that comes from feeling like life is happening to us and not through us. Oftentimes it is what it is comes from feeling like we don't have the power to change what's transpiring in our life and in our business. I hear phrases like, It'll just happen when it happens. Or what's meant for me is meant for me. Right? Or this is a big one, right? So I'm a kingdom entrepreneur, but this is a big one I hear. It will happen in God's time. Now there is some truth to all of those statements. But most of the time they have been generated from incidents that did not go the way people desired and they decided to settle they decided it is what it is to just let life happen now the phrase it will happen in god's time i want i want to go back because there's a scripture that says sow your seed in the morning and in the evening this is ecclesiastics 11 4. sow your seed in the morning and in the evening let not your hands be idle for you do not know which will succeed whether this or that, or whether both will do equally well. And what happens is when you just simply become neutral or indifferent to whether or not your brand goes further, your business grows, you create the life you love, you actually get that goal, whether it's a car, um, traveling, a, a new income, a certain type of relationship when you become indifferent and neutral 
to your goals, your dreams, and your visions, they often get lost in neutral. They often get lost in neutral. When people become indifferent or neutral as it relates to their brand, people get lost in social media land. Often. Lost from just the likes, but not the results. This is when you've become neutral. Well, I haven't been able to make it work, so at least everybody's liking my post. Or lost in, it didn't work the first time or the second time. And I really, I only did it one or two times. So maybe it isn't meant for me. Maybe I'm not good enough. This is when you become neutral. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I hear this quite often. Um, I also, and we got to be so careful because this is what being mindful and in a place of awareness about what you're saying and who you're being and where it's being generated from is so important. Because when it feels like it's not working, it's easy to say it is what it is. It's easy to say, oh, it'll happen whenever it happens, or what's meant for me is what's meant for me. But oftentimes, it is where people have settled. I don't know anyone who has been successful, who has taken on the mindset or the attitude or the way of being that says it is what it is, or who has decided to be neutral you do have to decide. You have to decide to be wealthy. Life is, being wealthy is not just going to happen. Having an amazing relationship is not just going to happen. Healing your heart is not just going to happen. I hear people often say, time heals everything. It doesn't. You have to do the work. There's no neutrality in, in that space. It is a decision. You know, even in scripture, it's, God said he'd rather us be hot or cold. He, he said either be all in or all out, not neutral. And so there is danger in being neutral about this business that you're building, about the brand that you're, you're building about the life that you want to create, there is danger in being neutral, in being indifferent. Because even with a measure of faith, it requires work. It requires your participation. And the first place you have to participate is here. You have to decide in your mind, I am going to build this brand. I am going to build this successful business. It's not, it, it just is what it is. There's no neutrality in that. There's no one who has been successful at something who has been neutral. They made a decision. They decided. They decided that they deserve more. <laughs> they decided that they deserve better. For those of you, if it's in the area of relationships, they created standards. They created standards. And they didn't allow circumstances or the fear that it would never happen to allow their standards to be diminished. Now, maybe their preferences, you know, we sometimes people have preferences, six feet, six pack, six figures. You know, maybe the six feet part, six pack may be a preference that you can compromise on. But standards are a decision that I'll be treated well, that they'll be loyal, things of that nature. And oftentimes, if we're not careful, or that I'm I'm going to be a wife, whatever the case, whatever your standards are. Everyone's standards aren't the same. But if you remain neutral, you are saying, I will accept whatever comes my way. And then I'll just deal with it. I'll just work around it. But when you step into your, your personal power, you decide, I am going to get in alignment with what's going to cause me to heal. I am going to get in alignment with what's going to cause me to grow. I am going to get in alignment with what is going to allow me new measures of freedom and abundance. 
And so there's danger in remaining neutral. Have you been remaining neutral? Take a moment. Be mindful in this. Think about it. Have you gotten to a place of complacency where you're just neutral? It just is what it is. What's meant for me, it'll just happen. There's danger in that neutrality. There's danger in that indifference. It means I'm not all the way in and or I'm not all the way out. I'm just kind of waiting in the middle. And the thing about that space in the middle, when you have not decided fully, it's the thoughts. It's all the stuff that's transpiring in your mind because in your heart, it's not what you desire. In your heart, you know you deserve more. In your heart, you know that what you have that you know serves in the marketplace, there's someone waiting for what it is that you have, you know that. But that neutrality, that just staying in the middle, that's where dreams and goals and visions get lost. And until you've decided that what you have is valuable enough to grow, is valuable enough for you to do the work, that your peace is valuable enough, that the goals that you have, the things that you want to do, until you have decided, until you get out of neutral, your dreams, your goals, and your plans, they get lost. They get lost in neutral. You start accepting things. You start thinking it is what it is. You, one of the things that really, really change for me as I do my inner work and um, as I just continue going was number one deciding making a, a decision a sound decision about what I deserve and I desire and then making a decision that I was going to do whatever I needed to do whatever that looked like that wasn't bringing any hurt harm or danger to anyone else but whatever that looked like I was willing to do it. And we can get complacent when things go left or when things don't turn out the exact way that we desire. We can become complacent and neutral. And so this morning, I want to encourage you to get out of neutral. Put it in drive or put it in park so that... It, I mean, when it's in neutral, you still got all these decisions, regardless of whether you just kind of sort of chilling. You still have the things in your mind and your heart that are transpiring that don't bring you the measure of peace. For me, I'm in drive. I'm in drive. So what is it that you need to do to move out of neutral into drive? Into connecting with the goals, the dreams, and the visions that you have into becoming the person that has the capacity for those goals, those dreams, and those visions. You know, my heart was touched when I listened to the young lady. In one, one sentence, this was a panel of entrepreneurs I was listening to. She was saying, you know, her friend was saying, well, a wedding is going to cost 100000 And she said, well, we could just do balloons. They don't have to be fancy. So she said that in one statement, which let me know that she was willing to just go and get married. And then in another statement, she was like, it really doesn't matter. We're, we're not tripping this. Decide. Are you going to have an amazing brand? Do you have something that the world needs? Are there people who you know you can help with your services and, and products? Decide. Get out of neutral. Listen, time will continue to go on. Life has so many different occurrences that aren't necessarily in alignment with what it is that you desire. And if you just let life happen, if it just is what it is, you lessen the chances of actually getting what you deserve and you desire. You have to get in alignment. 
you have to get in alignment with whatever it is you need to grow, to do your inner work, to grow your brand, to grow your money. Whatever that thing is, you have to get in alignment. And the first thing is deciding. The first thing is deciding. That's my take on this morning, um, a message that was on my heart. Just wanted to talk about the dangers of, of neutral. It's, it doesn't happen in neutral. It doesn't happen in neutral. You got to decide. You got to decide that I'm going to do whatever it takes. Because listen, even back to this, this scripture here. Sow your seed in the morning and in the evening. Let not your hands be idle, for you do not know which one will succeed, whether this or that, whether both will do equally well. It means to continue planting, to continue sowing seeds, to continue doing your work. What's your work in this season? What's your work in this season? If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a woman entrepreneur and you love to be supported, moving out of neutral, I love to support you. Um, there are many ways that I can support you on your journey. Um, my brand is centered around abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. <clears throat> I've helped numerous entrepreneurs in their entrepreneurial pursuit. And one of the biggest parts is, is up here in her mind right and so if there's a way that I can support you you can message me and just say I'm looking for support I'm looking for support message me this morning we'll have a conversation about ways that I can support